cooler because. Uh, <laughs> and so this is sheep fiber. It's very short fiber. Uh -huh. uh, and, uh, this has been nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so this is um, yak. Yak. Yes. Okay. And so this is alpaca, also just different colors. Yeah. We can use also a uh, merino wool. We uh -huh. can use like a uh, mo mohair. Yeah. Uh, we can use lingo. So we can use different types of fibers. They're all pretty good. So just the difference between them. So it's the texture. Mm -hmm. But so we can work with any of them. When we get this fiber, we get them dirty. So first we need to clean and prepare because it's better when we use running water. So this is a picture, this is my grandmother. So this is how we wash the wool. We use a basket, we take a basket there and we put the wool into the basket. We use a basket like um, this size. So we need to take this basket to the river and we put the wool here into the basket and we put the basket under water, mm -hmm. like this. So also for this process, we still use this kind of soap called a mulle. So this is a root. We get the root up in the mountains. When we get the soap, first we need to crush it or we rub it on a stone. When we get the soap ready, we add the soap here into the basket and we rub the wool into the basket like this, mm. under water. The water can go through the basket. This soap, so it doesn't smell anything, but so it tastes so bitter. The soap, cleans the lanolin, takes out the lanolin, so the natural oil from the ends. Because we can't use the fiber with that lanolin. So if we just leave the lanolin, so the yard can't absorb the, the dye. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to take out the, the lanolin. When we get this fiber ready now, so I'm gonna show you how we brush this fiber. So here there's a metal, so this is good. But let me show you how we do it. Um, like um, the alpaca fiber is very long fiber and uh, we can't use this fiber like this or sheep fiber is very short and uh, also so we can with like that kind of fiber so we need to align this fiber in just one direction so and we get this fiber ready now when we have enough, now we are ready to spin the wool into the yarn. We just need to add the fiber here to the end. So we hold it here together and we press our fingers. This plant, so this is a tarragon and some cochinilla. Cochinilla is a little insect raised on the cactus. They live on the cactus. They are more like a parasite because they stay here on the cactus. So they don't move, they don't have any wings, any legs. So this white powder is a cocoon. So they make this white powder for the protection. Mm -hmm. But so we need to infest them here on the cactus. So we need to take care of them and then harvest them. So they stay here for three months. And after three months, when we know they are ready, we need to brush down all of them. We put them on the sunlight and we get them dry and dye like this. So that's the same insect. So you can see them here. Mm. If I um, press it. Oh. So we get this color. Now is that you just killing it and that's the blood or? So no, mm. it's not the blood. Oh, okay. No. So this pigment, that's the juice from the cactus. Ah, okay. Because when the insect stay, stays on the, on the cactus, the insect absorbs the juice from the cactus. But with a chemical reaction in their body, they turn the juice into that red pigment. Okay. So, and the pigment has the carminic acid. That's what we call this color rojo carmine. So, this one was first batch of um, this. We can use this batch again and get lighter color. So, each batch we can use it three times. Mm -hmm. So, the first batch always will be darker. So, the second one will be lighter and the third one will be lighter. So, that's how we get different shades of color. In that one we have indigo. When we get this liquid ready, so with rubbing alcohol, we add the liquid here in warm water. So the difference between indigo and the rest of them, so indigo 
we don't need to let it boil so indigo we just use warm water so we add this liquid in warm water we spread ash from the wood on top for the alkaline also for this indigo it's very important to use an acid and the acid what we use for indigo sometimes so we can use pineapple juice we can use like a mango skin we can use pea urine human pea or we can go and collect muikle so muikle is a local leaves so all these things uh, have an acid the acid helps the indigo for all the fermentation process so that's why we need to add the acid here and let it ferment so we cover and we let it sit this batch here for three days mm -hmm. so after three days the top of the batch of indigo looks like this so green, silvery, and smell stinky. <laughs> but so that means it's ready. You can see here, you can come here closer and you can see this color of the yard. It's not blue. It's more like a yellow, like green. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take out this yard and as soon as the air touches the yard, the color starts changing. So the color goes through yellow, green, and finally blue. The oxygen oxidizes the color, and that's how we get the blue shape. Different uh, type of shape or blue, so depend the time what we leave the yard in there. So if we want it darker, we need to leave it in there longer. My brother is weaving a geometric symbol. So we call this design geometric design because when we make this symbol, we need to count the threads, compress, mark the thread, and count them. So we do a lot of counting with the geometric design. But metric design, so it's already here in our mind. So the same weaver needs to complete it, so needs to finish. For like this design, my brother, he is using a six threads per uh, section. Like this one, so this is just a natural, no, no ties or no pigment. Also, this symbol here, so this means the cycle of life. So this is the same shape from Mitla. So the Sabatological cycle. So also the first step when we born getting a child, we make sure to up. So this is your adult life when we get older and then we die. And it's just generation by generation. Mm. So this is the agave plant. So this is the spiritual star. Cloud because of the Indian like God, known as people from the sun. And rain and water because they are very important for everything. Corn because we do agriculture and we grow corn and wheat. And mountains because all the mountains around us they are sad. Como Cervan, Mista de Ragnar. 